Welcome to my channel Dr. Munshi Nasser Skill Tone. How are you my dear learners? In this video we are going to talk about how to find your research gap in a simple way. There are many ways we can find the research gap. One of the way is searching the literature review and then theoretical review and different types of way you can find out the research gap. But the way, the easiest way that any researcher can follow in this video i am going to share that particular information so let's get started let's assume that this is the topic of our research the relationship between job satisfaction job performance and employee engagement very simple and very straightforward an exploitative study so you are going to study in your own research organization or for example you want to do it in your own country or in your own company in that case how do you find a similar type of information that can be carried out in your own research finding this paper or considering this paper as your mother paper or sample paper so in order to do a, in order to find a research gap in my opinion first find out a sample paper or mother paper that you like most and the structure of the paper you really find it more suitable for your research for instance in this case we are finding this relationship of job satisfaction job performance and employees engagement this is the mother paper that we are taking as an example and we are going to take this idea into our own research for instance in this case you can see that if I can mention with the pen so you can understand what I'm trying to say here is that so in here you see that successful organization know that employee satisfaction performance and employee engagement are crucial so the first sentence is the idea of the research is why your research is important by looking at this first sentence you can understand why this researcher who are who is interested to pursue this research because the successful organization know the employee employee satisfaction performance and employee engagement and in order to be a successful you need to investigate these three inform information and three important factors so that this research was conducted to examine what contributes to a satisfied employee by examining a number of factors such as job fit good communication appreciation and clear objectives by looking at this abstract you can imagine that the researcher already pinpoint the idea very precisely and the very first line of the abstract he mentioned about the background of the study and also the objective of this research in my opinion whenever you are looking for or you are writing a research problem or research question you have to first write down the key purpose of your research without writing that the first sentence people will not convince whether you are interested in this particular research or not so in any research gap or research question writing the first sentence should be the purpose of your research once you find your purpose then the important information is that who are your key audience and in this case you can see that this study will provide complaining information that will help to understand the advantages of having satisfied and high performing employees okay as well as using the power of employee engagement to be the competitive and profitable so basically this research audience are employee general employee of the organization at the same time the owner of the organization who wants to use their employee to become more competitive and profitable so you are pinpointing your audience so whenever you are writing a research gap you need to find out purpose and then the next one is who are your audience find out that audience and write down that, that particular information right next to the purpose of the research next the research gap that you are going to find out whether this research is applicable to general other organizations or only your organizations you need to mention that and therefore in this particular abstract you can see that the link between employee satisfaction and performance findings will be illuminated and related example of what can be done to improve both variables which will which is provided in this particular research so this study discussed the employee engagement which combines the above topics and much more including definitions organizational success how to develop a successful employee engagement program so basically you can take this idea into different other organizations because this is a general idea so 
There are three steps. First, you need to mention the purpose in your research objective or research gap writing or research problem writing. Then mention about who are your audience. It is very important. And then what is the general purpose or the findings, how you use that, how you use your findings to the general people or general purposes. So it is very important to mention these three important issues. Then comes the methodology. Okay. Then comes the methodology and also your expected outcome okay expected outcome okay these are the three two other important things that you have to mention now in order to find out the methodology the best way you can take the methodology or the idea is to read the article or the sample article and go to the end of this article to find the what research direction this researcher is giving to you now my dear learners regarding the methodology and what is the research direction you can find out in the last paragraph of this paper not only this paper but any research article there is always a limitation and future research gap so you can take that gap to use your research opportunity for instance there is another opportunity for research based on the process of developing an employee engagement plan for an organization this could come from a more exhaustive research of how exactly organizations have embraced employee engagement. So, by looking at this particular future research direction, you can easily find out what would be your next research question or research problem. I can assure you this is a fantastic way to find out the research problem or research question. For example, here it says how exactly organizations have embraced employee engagement developed effective plans and continue to improve as needed so basically if you are looking for a research where this is your research question or research idea then you can easily take this research question and idea and using the same methodology this paper is using or a little bit different methodology this paper is using in your own organizations or in your own country's perspective that would be a very interesting smart and easiest way to find a specific research question with a specific goal and a specific methodology and a specific objective now once you find your research objective or research goal for instance as i said first of all you need to write the research purpose then you go to the who are your audience and then you have to write the general purpose of your research and then the findings or the methodology you can take the example from the research gap or direction at the end of the any research paper that you are taking as a sample or mother paper now once you find out that particular line you copy that line and go to google scholar you go to google scholar and put it put it here google scholar is a fantastic tool for instance to find out some specific article and as you know that I already have discussed about the literature review, especially the systematic literature review. You can find many of my videos are in my channel about literature review using NVivo, MaxQDA and other potential softwares. In this case, for systematic literature review, we need exclusion and inclusion criteria. In Google Scholar, if you go to that particular advanced search, then you'll find out that how do you find this article? For example, with all of the words, for instance, if you want to use all of the words, then you can use and put that all the words that I am searching with the exact phrase with at least one of the words without the words where my words occur return article author, which means the exclusion and inclusion criteria you can set using the advanced search option in Google Scholar. And finally, the article you can put the date, which means if I want to get only 2015 until 2022, this type of articles, not before the 2015, that would be my search result. So once I put that, you can find out that all the articles that is published after 2015 or in 2015, the articles will show here. For instance, 2015, the relationship between job satisfaction, job performance, employee ex ex example, which is I already shared with you, then effective employee engagement in the workplace. There are lots of lots of paper coming up, which is in 2015, 2017, 2016. Okay, not before 2015. All the articles that you are looking at all are from 2015 to 2022 as you can see here this is my custom range which is my inclusion criteria
So you can see that by doing the Google Scholar, you can download each of these paper and review those paper for your literature review. Another way to find out your literature the research gap by using literature review, which I already explained in my other videos. I hope those videos will be useful for you. You can have a look. But by doing this, you can find out the literature review gap or the literature or theoretical gap. Now, once you find the literature review gap, which means the articles that you are downloading from this particular uh, search, you can do a literature review and then connect the literature review with your original research question. What is your original research question? The original research question is how exactly organization have embraced, you can see that how exactly organization have embraced employee engagement and develop effective plans and continue to improve as needed this is your exact research question or research problem so to support this research question and to research problem you can go and do the google scholar search download as many articles that you want do a literature review find out the gap in the literature review and then support the research question using the literature review gap align with that and then finally you write the literature uh, research gap usually a research gap or research question you need to start with a purpose and then who are your audience what is the general purpose if you solve this problem and then you can f write down the methodology and expected outcome and do a literature review next step by google scholar using google scholar and then align your research objective with the theoretical gap and literature review gap and then finally you say that this is how the literature review result can be achieved through the research question or research gap and in my opinion a research question or research gap or research problem at the end of the article in any introduction or introductory part you should write at least two paragraph which means in my opinion 250 words to maximum 300 words you need to write for literature uh, research gap or research question or research problem identification part and then in the next step you go and do the structure of the paper and the next section you will go for the literature review analysis and this is how you can easily find out a research gap and this, this is how you can easily convert your research gap and connect the research gap to your literature review analysis. I hope this video is useful for you. If you have any question, let me know through email and you can find me easily by commenting in this video's uh, comment box and I'll always get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, my dear learners. I'll see you in the next video.